Hey guys, Cousin Freli here. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can redesign your default My Account page that comes with the WooCommerce with something custom like this. So, if you want to learn that how you can redesign your My Account page of WooCommerce without using any third-party plugin like WooLentor and with using a simple Elementor Pro plugin, then without further to do, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is to go to the dashboard of your website and once you are in the dashboard of your website make sure you have latest version of Elementor installed and make sure you have WooCommerce properly installed in your WordPress dashboard. If you don't know how to install the WooCommerce properly I already have some videos on my channel regarding WooCommerce please make sure you watch those videos before. I also have some of the videos on redesigning the cart page and checkout page I think you might like those videos as well so the next thing that you want to do is to click on these pages and once you will click on these pages you will click on this my account and click on this edit button once you will click on this edit button then the next thing that you want to do is to click on edit with elementor button here in my case this is showing here in your case this will appear here so simply click on edit with elementor so once you will click on edit with elementor in my case this is already designed so i'll get rid of this one from here this will look something like this first thing that you want to do is to click on this small gear icon and from here make sure you choose elementor full width as the page width after that what you want to do is to get rid of a widget that you will see here this will look something like this with a WooCommerce show code here. So delete that widget from here and then search for account. You will see this widget that will say my account. Drag this widget in this area. And then you have this option to choose between vertical and horizontal. In my case, I'll use this vertical widget. You have all of these options showing here that are dashboard. You can change their text from here easily all right you can change their alignments but for now i'll keep them left aligned and then in the styles tab first of all i want to add a background color so i'll choose the white color background i want to change the text color to the green color and then for the hover i want to add a green color hover with the white color of text on it or maybe i want to add a red color of hover and then for the active i want to add green color with the white color of hover for the normal i think i may go for black color this looks fine all right So the next thing that I want to do is to add the border radius of 40 pixels here and then I want to add some spacing between these items. So now you can see we have this spacing here. After that there is a section. For the section I want to have a white color background. This section is for this part. For the border radius I want to change the radius to 40 pixels and then for the width of border I will increase the width and I will reduce the opacity to a semi transparent. After that you can play around with padding as well. I don't want to change the padding. This looks just fine so I will keep it just the way it is. For the typography I have the section title option. So maybe if I switch to another option. So I ha we have the section title option. I will change its color to black and change its text to 16 or maybe 20 pixels here then the next option we have is this general text for that i'll change its color to this blue color and then i'll change its size to 16 pixels for the login message i'll change the color to i can this and change 
the size to 16 for the checkboxes I'll change them to black color for the font size of 16 for the radio I'll do the same thing change its size to 16 pixels for the links I'll change the color to red and for the hover I want to change these color to black so they should look something like this now for the form which is this one I want to add some row gap here then for the labels I want to change the color to black and then I want to change their font sizes then for the fields I want to change its color to this color and I want to change the font size to 16 pixels as well and then I want to add the border radius of 40 pixels here after that I don't I have this button option here so I want to add a background color of green color here I want to change the font size and after that I want to add the border radius of 40 pixels here for the hover I want to change the background color to a red color with the text color to go to white so that whenever I hover over the color should change to red and that is all the thing that I want to do here after that I'll hit update now if I go back to the front end of my website and if I click on this my account icon here now you can see the changes that we made are reflecting here so I hope you have learned something new from this video if you have learned something new from this video please consider subscribing to my youtube channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so that you will never miss an update from me thank you very much i'll see you in the next video